Hi everyone, it's Tom TJ Abbott here from AMC NPO Solutions and I'm really excited to announce we have a new course coming out very soon on how to run really effective meetings. Now in that course, there's a really powerful lesson. It's a bit of a touchy subject, but it's basically on how to handle conflict of interest. It happens from time to time, more often than it should, in not-for-profit organizations. So in the course, I'm going to share with you guys four tips on handling conflict of interest. I call it the four R's of handling conflict of interest. Right now, I'm going to share with you one quick tip. The first R in handling conflict of interest is reveal. That's the first R. You have to reveal that you are in or could be in a potential conflict of interest. So if a reasonable person might assume that you could potentially be in a conflict of interest, then you have to reveal that fact. For example, quickly, if you work at a hotel and you sit on the board of directors and the board is discussing where the AGM should be held and you put up your hand and say, hey, I have a hotel, maybe we can give you a good deal. In fact, we'll give you the best deal out of all the properties out there. Guess what? you are in a conflict of interest, real or perceived. But in this case, it's pretty darn real, right? Because your personal interests take precedent over those of the association. You have something to gain here. So the first thing you have to do is to reveal, the first R, that you're in a conflict of interest. So I hope this tip has been useful in and of itself. Log in to NPO Academy to get the rest of those tips. Take care, everyone. Bye now.